Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi, I'm Mike Green. I'm one of the owners of 1A Auto. I want to help you save time and money repairing and maintaining your vehicle. I'm going to use my 20 plus years experience restoring and repairing cars and trucks like this to show you the correct way to install parts from 1AAuto.com. The right parts installed correctly. That's going to save you time and money. Thank you and enjoy the video. In this video, we're showing you how to bleed uh, drum brakes. Um, you're going to need to bleed the brakes if you've done any work on the brakes themselves, or um, if you feel like your car is, is not providing good stopping power or pulling um, left or right during braking, bleeding the brakes can sometimes cure some of those uh, issues. Our subject vehicle is a 59 Pontiac Bonneville. Um, it has manual adjust brakes, which are different than most newer cars, which uh, adjust automatically. Um, just a note. And then you'll need a wrench uh, anywhere from quarter inch to three eighths or seven millimeter to nine millimeter, depending on your application. Um, latex or rubber hose in a plastic bottle. A an assistant to help you out. Uh, and you'll want to probably raise and secure the car, although not all vehicles will you have to raise to do the brake bleeding on. Uh, brakes need to be assembled. All rotors and drums and pads and everything need to be on. Uh, in our video, we do have the tires off the vehicle. You do not have to remove your tires to bleed your brakes. So the first step in bleeding your brakes is, and this car is an old 59 Pontiac, um, so what we're doing right now is we're opening up the master cylinder and adding brake fluid. Uh, you want to fill the master cylinder full um, and also you're going to want to stop and check it from time to time while you're bleeding the brakes. Usually we do one wheel and then we'll check the master cylinder and then do the next wheel, etc, etc. Okay, so here we, this is an old car. It's, so you use DOT3 hydraulic brake fluid. So you have a helper in the vehicle pressing the brake for you. Dear old dad in this one. Okay, so now we're in behind the brake drum here. And this is the bleeder valve. Okay. So before you uh, bleed, what you want to make sure is you get these um, loose. And it may require you to put some you know, penetrating oil on there or something. Uh, these are brand new, so they'll be loose enough. Uh, but you want to make sure you can get those loose because sometimes they will break off and then you'll need to replace your wheel cylinders or brake calipers or whatever anyways. Okay, you're going to want to put your wrench on. Then what I have is this kind of handy bleeders mate. You can see there's a hose. One end of the hose goes down into the fluid and the other end of the hose I'm going to connect to that bleeder valve. Okay, so I've got my wrench on the bleeder valve. I'm going to take my hose Okay, I'm going to try and keep this where you can kind of see it. Put my hose on the bleeder valve. Now, this is somewhat the environmentally correct and clean way to do it. We're going to hopefully not spill any brake fluid all over the place. Um, you know, the other thing you can do is just put a rag or a catch pin underneath and bleed away. So what I'm going to do, let me get this bottle secured. Okay. And you can watch right here. I'm going to tell my guy in the car to hit the brakes and then I'm going to open up the valve and you'll see all the air bleed into the um, bleed into the bottle. So, all right, hit the brakes. Okay. The, all right, let off. So basically what I'm doing is a series of hit the brakes and let off, um, which forces the fluid into the lines. And there's actually, we just redid the total brakes on this, so there's no fluid in the line, so it's actually going to take it a little bit to... Uh, you want to just pump the brakes a few times and see if you can get anything? Alright, hit the brakes. Yeah, there he goes. Let off. Brakes. Let off. And so I'm saying hit the brakes. So hit the brakes. Okay and then I'm tightening it and then I'm telling him now let off okay um, can you hit the brakes here 
I'm not hearing anything. We need to check the fluid. So we're going to now check the fluid because we may have drained all the fluid from the master cylinder just filling the lines. Okay, so we did one wheel until we had no bubbles. So now we've moved to the other side. We're going to repeat the procedure. So we'll put our wrench on. Our, okay, brakes. And you see all those bubbles? Hear them too. Let off. Brakes. Let off. Brakes. Let off. Okay, so here I am in the rear um, of the car, and this is the back of the brake drum. Now, this is an old car, so actually, you can see here this is the uh, bleeder. It doesn't even have a tip on it, it's old style, it just has a hole in it. Probably the original cylinders for the car. Um, so I'm just going to do it the old way. I'm just going to use a rag and kind of catch the fluid. Okay, brakes. Okay, let off. Okay, so we're actually having an issue here with this rear brake. Um, and just to show you, this is the bleeder. And I'm kind of putting a pick into it just to make sure it does feel like it's got some stuff. So I just took the, the bleeder all the way out. And what, what you can do is just take a drill bit that's a little bit smaller and kind of run it through there. And I'm just going to put the pick into the wheel cylinder as well to make sure there's no stuff. Oh, I did get a little bit of fluid, extra fluid came out. So that can happen. So if, you, if you're bleeding for a while and you're not getting any fluid out, it's probably a clogged bleeder um, or some stuff has gotten into your wheel cylinder. Okay, so on this car, like I said, we had done work to all four brakes, um, so we bled them repeatedly. Uh, this car has manually adjusting brakes, so we did find that we had to kind of work the brakes a little bit, make sure the adjusters were tight, um, and then work the brakes again. So if you have a very old car that has manually adjusting brakes, keep that in mind. Um, what you'll want to do is uh, pump the pedal, make sure the brakes are working, then adjust them and while you're adjusting it, spin the drum a little bit um, and basically adjust it until the brakes give a little resistance then pump the brakes again then spin the drum again and like I said, adjust it until the drum gives a little resistance so now we're just going to top off our fluid and we're putting on our wheels and tires and we'll go out and road test it Okay, so you've done your brake work and you've bled the brakes and you're getting ready to road test. Okay, obviously the most dangerous part of what you're doing. Uh, basically, first thing you do is you start the car, apply the brakes, put it in gear. Make sure the brakes just hold the car in gear. Okay, if they hold the car in gear, that's a good sign. Um, then I would go, maybe go like five miles an hour, uh, put the brakes on, make sure they stop the car. You know, and then 10 miles an hour and work your way up until you're comfortable that the brakes are working well enough. Then go road test it. When you road test it, you want to feel for, does the car stop straight? You know, does it pull to one side or the other? If it pulls, you may want to look at bleeding the brakes again. Um, and also keep in mind that the pulling could be something other than the brakes. Um, so that's it. We, we hope you help, we helped you out. Thank you. Also, before you road test, uh, make sure you press on your brake pedal and you have a good solid pedal. It doesn't go all the way to the floor or anything like that. Uh, and then um, after you press down hard, move your car and just make sure you're not leaking brake fluid anywhere under the car. Brought to you by www.1aauto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the Internet. Feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393, the company that's here for you on the Internet and in person. Thank you.